Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation on the CFA Level 1 exam for June 2015. In this presentation, we look at Reading 5, the time value of money. We will also take a look at an interesting case study that shows us the impact of different growth rates on future value, especially over long periods. Now a fundamental principle of finance theory is that a dollar today is always more than a dollar tomorrow. There are no exceptions to this rule. And the rationale behind this rule is the concept of opportunity cost. If we have a dollar today, we can invest it at a growth rate of R and have a higher amount in the next period. Now how much would that future value, the amount in the next period be, is a much more difficult question. The growth rate R here depends on many factors such as the risk-free rate, the inflation rate, the investment risk of the project, the liquidity premium, etc. In fact, a lot of finance investment theory is concerned with determining what should be the appropriate growth rate. Now let's look at an interesting case study that tells us why figuring out the appropriate growth rate is important. Back in 1626, Manhattan was purchased for $24. And today, it is worth about $3 trillion. Now the question is whether that investment was a good decision. Well, in order to answer that question, we need to figure out what else we could have done with that $24. Because we could have invested that $24 at different interest rates or growth rates and come up with a future value. The question is, what should be this growth rate? Now suppose that back in 1626, we could have invested in some kind of a stock index, and that was the alternative investment possibility. In that case, we can use the growth rate of 9.6%, which is the return on S&P 500, from 1928 to 2014. That $24 would have grown over the 389 years to $73.5 quadrillion. Now that's a very big number because one quadrillion is equal to 1,000 trillion. So that $24 would have grown to $73,500 trillion. By contrast, Manhattan is worth only $3 trillion today. Now this tells us we could have grown that $24 to about 25,000 times the current price of Manhattan. The future value is very sensitive to growth rates that we assume in our calculations. That 9.6% is a bit unrealistic because it's not possible to get that kind of return over almost 400 years. Also, that 9.6% does not take into account inflation. If we assume an inflation rate of about 2.5%, our growth rate would approximately be 7% in which case the future value would be $6.5 trillion, which would still be more than double the current price of Manhattan. On the other extreme, if our growth rate was 10%, we would grow that $24 into $303 quadrillion, which would be over 100,000 times the current price of Manhattan. Now these kinds of growth rates, 8%, 9.6% and 
are unrealistic because the global economy today is worth only about 77 trillion dollars therefore if you assume these 8 9.6 or 10 percent growth rates we are essentially saying that that 24 dollar investment would make us richer than the entire global population which is of course unrealistic but the interesting thing about this case is how sensitive future value is to the growth rate that we assume. The difference between 7% and 10% does not seem like much, but over a long period, we can clearly see a huge variation. Now this brings us to an end of this presentation. If you found the video useful, please make sure to like it and to subscribe to our channel. Also, please let us know if you would want us to make a free video on a topic of your choice. Thanks very much for watching and I wish you the best of luck on the exam. Thank you.